All right, guys. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to bone an object, and I don't mean that in a sexual way. Uh, and like you know, like rigging an object or something. So this is a cube, and we're going to try to make this as simple as possible. Okay. So before, I mean, before you can put a uh, the bones in there so you can make it move you should make it edible first okay let's make it into a polygon and make it edible and another thing is you want to subdivide it I guess I could have subdivided it before I made it edible but I usually don't like to do that okay so I'm gonna go to polygon mode I'll right click anywhere and then I'm gonna click uh, it's off the screen subdivide right here I'm going to subdivide it again. Ah, one more time. Ah, off the screen again. And the reason you have to subdivide it is if you didn't, it would just be one piece and then you wouldn't be able to move it even though you rigged it with a bone. Uh, so it moves according to the subdivided line. See that line? It moves along this line, that line, that line. So everywhere it's subdivided, the lines, that's where it's able to move. Okay, so we're going to bone it. Uh, maybe they should use a different word, or maybe I'm just using it wrong. Okay, so we go to the Joint tool. You click Joint. Um, then you go down to the menu you don't have to I, I never like to use this root no root no no root no so I just click off of it and this is just a simple tutorial it's not it's not meant to be a uh, uh, ah forget okay so to put the bone in you can click all you want it's not gonna go in I'm left clicking like crazy you have to hold the control key and then click and there it goes and then you go to the next point and usually I like to make the points right where the line because that's where it's going to bend and then you go to the next line where you want it Hit, uh, you have to hold control key when you click or it won't go down and there you go and you can see my front view it's in the middle and while you're still in it you can move it if it wasn't like in the middle you can you can just click on it and adjust it how you want but you want it inside and then once you have that uh, once you have that you click on your cube you see all the bones are in the cube you uh, select children to make sure you have everything selected then you go back to character and then you go to commands and you click bind so once you click bind, you get this skin, and you get this little thing over here, and then now you should be able to move it. And to test it, we'll just click on one of the joints, right? See? I wasn't lying to you. And you click on a different joint. Yeah. Click so. And if you want to be more smooth when it does it, you just, you know, subdivide more. And then there's also the weight tool. And the weight tool is good for, uh, let me just show you real quick. So let's bring up the weight tool. Uh, let's see, it's also in the character. And see how it's colored? Uh, that just shows you what it has control of. So if I hit this joint, this joint, when it bends, it affects this little area. This joint affects this area this joint affects this area and if you wanted to change it you just color it now it affects more which you don't want to do basically I just made joint one when I flip it it affects all this and it's something you don't want and you just just so you know what it's for and usually when you rig like a full model like a humanoid you use the joint tool so it doesn't grab like other pieces of the human body but that's for another tutorial. Well, thanks guys.